Hey gang, how's it going? Uh, Dean here. Now we're gonna make cinnamon rolls. You can check down in the, the box below. So I'm using, well I've got a little bit of this stuff left. I bought some bulk. Two cups of almond milk or nut milk like we made at home. And melted margarine. Okay, so you can melt your margarine gently and slowly in, in a pot on the stove. <laughs> Two and a half teaspoons of yeast. And I'm going to add the milk. I'm going to stir it. Okay. And I'm touching it and now it feels entirely ice cold. So that's no good. I'm going to have to warm it up till it's sort of like, you know, just gently warm. Okay, it's just a beautiful, nice temperature. It's very warm, but it's not hot. That'll direct the yeast. And pour them together. And we're going to let it stand for 10 minutes. And I'm going to cover it with a plate so it doesn't cool off too quickly. And we're back. It's 10 minutes later and the yeast has been kind of looking like things are going on in there a little bit. So we need two tablespoons of sugar we're going to add. This is a some kind of an organic sugar. I couldn't describe it exactly. Because as you know, white refined sugar, they use, I believe, charred cow bones. And they filter it through that. Why the hell they do it, I don't know. One... Two, and then we're going to add salt. And I tend to just ignore exactly what it says and just sort of just shake whatever in there, you know. The next step is to stir in six cups of flour a half cup at a time. If a recipe says white flour, I always like to blend half of that white and half whole wheat. Or put some coconut flour, any kind of flour. Probably going to really rely on some of that good glutens. I'm going to do three cups of white, three cups of whole wheat. I've so, got all the flour and now we're going to mix it in liquid into this bowl. So I've got the whisk here. I'm going to start adding the flour in there, half cup at a time. Here we go. So there it is. I'm going to cover it with a, a sheet of saran and let it proof for an hour. Uh, if you're not familiar with proofing, proofing just means that you're uh, letting it rest and letting the yeast gases expand it. Put a clean tea towel on top. And for the next hour, go for a bike ride. Okay, I had an insanely good bike ride. Pushed myself a little too hard in one hill and had to really sit down and relax for a bit. Let's look at this. In one hour, what happened? Look at that. Huge. Blob. Roll it out to a rectangular shape. Ooh, that's huge. Forget the brush. I'm just putting some oil on here. Spread it with a spatula. And the sugar and the cinnamon. So I'm going to roll this lengthwise.
Here are both of the thingies. Um, just touching them. Okay, first off, I'm thinking to myself, maybe I should have had more sugar and cinnamon. Well, let's have a look here. So I think, I think it's done. Let's take one up with me and see what it's like. Okay, so my conclusion is, it needs a lot more sugar. And it would need a good dose of icing too. See ya later, thanks for watching, bye. Okay, I'm gonna try this delicious looking cinnamon bun. Mmm! Mm. 10 out of 10. I find.